Take that ball. Remember per radio with your host, Gen T. Fuck, I don't know what, what the fuck. Yeah, fuck it. Jen is a warlord. I'm fucking coming for you. Now I feel poo coming out of my bum. So <laughs> it's, 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 right, it's a lot right now. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Rambo per radio. I am your host, Gen T, Twitter, and Instagram at Gen T five two three. Uh, what is up, my friends? This ah, <laughs> uh, here, here we are. <laughs> God damn it, man! My schedule has been. <laughs> Dog shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm here. I am. I'm trying to do a show for you as best I can, even though literally everything is on fire. <laughs> um, damn. I just want to say a big shout out to all of the firefighters, all of the EMTs, all the first responders right now going through some shit. We got 21,000 acres on motherfucking fire right now in the Highland Running Springs area, Mentone. Uh, They're starting to evacuate the backside of, if you live off of... uh, uh, on the back side of Bryant Street in Yukaipa, they they are setting the zone. I have an app that tells me the deets, and uh, you guys are zone yellow. That means uh, get ready to start moving soon. So, and I got a lot of fam over there on the back side on Bryant Street. I got fam in uh, off of uh, Peach Peach Tree in uh, Yukpa. So, um, you know, for the love of God. Fire. Turn the other way and go up towards Big Bear or something. I don't know. Or go the other way away from people's houses or some shit. I don't know, man. This shit sucks. People are getting evacuated. Schools are closed. The air is terrible to breathe. A lot of people just are just kind of just in a state of shock, panic, sadness. There's a lot of things going on right now. So I'm just, I just want to send out some some positive vibes right now i mean obviously positive vibes can't bring your house back if it burns down but fuck at least you have your life right at least you have your life um my understanding we're at five percent containment which is better than zero because the last four or five days we have been at zero containment so uh shout out once again to the first responder fire police emt everybody doing the most right now um because whew, it's been hot as fuck, windy, and all the terrible conditions that are needed for a fire to happen. And in the worst place, uh, against a mountain with no fire roads, and you got to hike up there, and uh, the smoke visibility is so bad they can't even fly the plane to to put out the fire with the water from the sky. So it's been a rough couple of days for some folks, so... Uh, uh, shout out to them. And then also let's not shout out from the rumors that I'm hearing, which is potentially that this might've been started by some kids. Hey, uh, I have news for you. You go to jail. (laughs) You dumb son of a bitch. Hey, you want to start a fire? Open up your fireplace, fam. Start a fire over there. Listen, there's just what, what good idea do you have to start a fire in the middle of a dusty ass field that's gonna take over a whole goddamn mountain and burn people's houses down. That is not a good idea. I'm sorry. Uh, if you if, if you thought it was a good idea, you're wrong, sir. You're seriously wrong. Um, and I know the folks who did the gender reveal a couple of years ago. They had to pay the state restitution for uh, the hours. For the fire department and for uh, 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 the materials to to put out the fire from the last time. So you can only imagine what uh, this young uh, man's family is going to have to pay due to his complete 
negligence or lack of brain cells, thinking it would be a good idea to set a fire uh, in the middle of a, 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 a of a dry ass field. Okay. Uh, so some good news. Some good news happening. Uh, we've lost. Two more co-workers this week. And... (laughs) Well, you know, it's not too bad. Because, like, you know, like two weeks ago, we gained, like, six. So if two people left, you know, then it's not so bad. But, you know, like two weeks ago, we got six. But we, but then we lost the homie Andrew, and then uh, we just lost two more. Uh, these these fine, upstanding citizens worked in the juice bar and made some damn good drinks. And uh, one of them, the homegirl, was already on the way out. Uh, she had a second job, so I knew it was only a matter of time. And uh, the homie, well, you know, he didn't do himself any favors, but I still, he's still the homie, and I think... Uh, uh, the homie that left, uh, he was unhappy, and they were treating him like dog shit because he was unhappy. And, uh, you know, the original place that he wanted to work in was the juice bar. And they really didn't put him over there until it was the end. And, and by then, he was already over it. So uh, shout out to the homie. He got a, a job across the street working at the gym. My guy loves working at the gym. And uh, that will fit his personality well, working with people at the gym. So God bless it. Uh, everything just has a way of working out. So, uh, but, you know, these things just happen. <laughs> I don't question them. I just go, you know what? Hey, cool. Best of luck to you. Uh, but a uh, uh, couple of these uh, fellers we inherited from Machino. I, 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 I want to believe. <laughs> I want to believe. <laughs> I want to believe in the power of uh, rehabilitation, you know, because uh, some of these folks that were working at Chino, I don't I don't know if they're used to the level of work that is going on at the uh, Loma Linda store. So, you know, at my at my location, uh, we work um, and 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 if it's dead, you know, it's not as dead as. As Chino, that's for damn sure. So uh, we work, we stay busy, we work hard, and, uh, you know, we take care of customers. So just the fact that I will notice little things here and there, and, you know, my my guy is looking like the big man on campus, (laughs) which I'll give him this. He's great with customers. He answers the phone. But this... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this guy, I tell myself every time I clean up his mistake, I just go, hey, brother, can you not touch anything? Don't touch anything. Uh, just help customers answer the phone. That's the only thing you can touch. Just the phone and the computer to clock out. <laughs> Do not touch a motherfucking thing uh, because you fuck it up. And, um, you know, I don't know what this is all about. He has a way that things were done where he came from, and God bless you, you are no longer there now. That place is closed for a reason, uh, because it sucked donkey dicks. So uh, you are here at a new place, and probably the best solution, you know, just to get your feet wet is just to kind of go by what the what are the things that we do at this location. Uh, you know, from day one, this individual has been just trying to change things and bitch and moan and, and, uh, you know, take charge air quote, but when taking charge, uh, this really means that he's about to fuck some shit up and I have no other choice, but to correct his, his fucked upness. (laughs) Yo, I'm trying to be kind. (laughs) But if you saw, <laughs> but if you saw this guy, if you just, you didn't even have a conversation with him. You just witnessed him walking around the store like he missed a boss man. And it's just, it's just laughable. I don't know what else to do. I just, I'm trying to be kind. I'm really trying to be kind. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy shit. Wow. You know, again, I, I can't say too much. I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. Nobody is perfect. But just the level of fuckery that is happening from this person, I'm just like, dog, you, you can't be this stupid, can you? <laughs> is this stupidity genetic? Or was... <laughs> Or was this like a learned trait you picked up from somebody? <laughs> oh. I was like, God damn, man. No, that is that is not how this works. Matter of fact, just leave it. Let me do it. Okay. Yeah. You go back to standing around or something. I don't know. <laughs> Don't touch anything <laughs> again, unless it's a phone or the computer, the clock out because you're leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> God, <talk. laughs> I just it's kind of crazy because I'm just like, man, you. <sighs> where, 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 where did where did we go wrong? How did we lose our way here? <laughs> I will approach a project and I will see that this individual has worked on this project. And I'm like, damn, uh, well, I guess I'll make it right now. Because <laughs> for some reason, this this individual has the superpowers, the ability to take something that was already OK or decent and fuck it up even more. <laughs> and then I'll come by and I'll fix it. And then uh, he'll come back again and then fuck it up some more. <laughs> I'm like, yo, how is this scientifically possible? You, you made it look like shit. I came around and I fixed it. And then you made it look like shit again. And then so now I got to fix it again. <laughs> so uh, my favorite example is um, we had two different products from the same company. One of them was uh, just plain old energy pills like caffeine, get zooted and booted. Okay, we got the Krizak right in the pill. The caffeine plus a whole bunch of other caffeinated shit in there to send you zooming to the moon and back and 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 back again. And, uh, you know, if your heart doesn't explode, take more. And then from the exact same company, they make a formula that is specified to the brain. Energizing products for the brain. So one is for the body, one is for the brain. From the moment this individual arrived, he noticed that the brain was in the brain section and noticed there was nothing in the energy section. So he took it upon himself to just throw away the tag for the energy one and put the brain one in the energy section. <laughs> so I was like, damn, you, you've only been here for like four hours. And you're already fucking shit up, okay? Um, Contover. So, uh, you know, I let that happen. And then, of course, our boss got involved and was like, hey, please don't throw away the tags. What are you doing? You jackass. We need the tags. Even if the item's not there, we need the fucking tag to make sure when the item comes back, we know where it goes. Or we can scan it, see if something's wrong with the manufacturer, something. We need the tag player. Don't don't throw them away. So uh so once that has been established, uh I took the uh brain energizer and put it back in the brain set and then uh you know left space for the regular energy pills to come back. And so my man's didn't get the memo and took the brain vitamin and put it in the energy set. And then we got a delivery. And well, would you would guess what is on that delivery? Energy pills. That's right. And so I had to put the brain thing back into the brain section and put those energy pills back on the shelf where they go. And then, uh, <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> uh, this individual then takes the energy pills and put them in the brain section and 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 embraces the space where the energy pill go. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be kind. I'm going to make a note, and I'm going to say, look, attention, staff, these are two different products, two different UPCs. The only difference in the numbers were that one was 105, and the other one was 150. Zero. The zero and the five were flipped around. Okay, one is 105 and one is 150. But uh, no, my man uh, didn't take the time to uh, clarify. And so uh, he proceeded to once again take both the energy and the brain one and put them back in the energy set and not have anything in the brain set. And I went, hmm, so that's not going to happen. And then the next day we got a delivery for brain. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to show you some shit right now. So I proceeded to get a, another tag made since the other tag was thrown away. And I put the energy stuff in the energy set and the brain stuff in the brain set. Two are there. Two separate products, two different UPCs. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for this motherfucker to move something and put it where it doesn't belong. <laughs> And I'm about to go, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. My G, 105, 150. Two separate things, not the same. You can go on around telling everybody, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. Uh, no, sir, it's not. It is not the same. That's why they have two different numbers. All of the numbers are the same except the last three, 105 and 150. So I was like, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm just waiting. So I keep watching. I keep watching. I'm just waiting. I'm just like, I'm just waiting for this motherfucker to move this shit. So I can go, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, bitch, no. <laughs> and speaking of no, bitch, no, it's time for customers of the week. Well, uh, I don't know what's going on, but apparently some of y'all miss the Chino location. Some of the customers are calling up. Well, why'd y'all close the store? Yeah, I'm shopping at Chino. I can't believe I got to come over here to get my groceries. Yeah, where's the fucking store at Chino? Okay, so listen up, motherfuckers. Uh, if you loved... That Chino location so much, you probably should have shopped there a little bit more. Like, as in every fucking day. Because that store made zero dollars. <laughs> we lost money, motherfuckers. <laughs> Ten years, zero dollars. <laughs> when I tell you... Some old lady walked up to the store, got a shopping cart, and filled up the entire shopping cart with Hydro Flask, and then walked back to her car and dumped the shopping cart in her trunk and drove off. That is Chino. <laughs> we made zero point zero dollars. <laughs> So all these people are calling up, and this one black lady was like, Hello, I went to your store, and y'all closed. Are y'all closed for the holiday? Are y'all closed? And I was like, ma'am, uh, the store is permanently closed. It's a Mexican market now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I tried to go in the store and it was closed. 
when y'all opening up again? I was like, it's permanently closed, ma'am. Oh, shit. When y'all do that? And I was like, August 18th. <laughs> this bitch just found out now this door is closed, which is why we closed. Because nobody knew what the fuck was going on over there. Nobody knew that place was open. Nobody knew what the fuck was going on. People stealing shit. People uh, doing whatever the fuck they wanted. I remember one day I rolled up in there and fucking just... I remember one day I rolled up in there and people just ordered some pizzas and just stayed in the office. Nobody fucking came out. Nobody came out the office. Everybody just stayed in there, ate pizza. Meanwhile, I was working hard. I was uh, gathering up stuff for transfers. And I'm like, yo, where the rest of the workers at? Everyone in the office eating pizza, hanging out, ain't doing shit. <laughs> 50,000 square foot building and made $0.0. <laughs> Come on, Ma. We're going to close. You had 10 years. It was a good run. I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, there's plenty of other stores out there. It's like, ma'am, you got Sprouts, you got Whole Foods, you got, uh, there's the Riverside location. She's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, I've been to that Riverside store. There ain't no selection there. Now I got to come to Loma Linda, baby. <laughs> okay. I was like, well, I will make sure I'm not here when you arrive. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, oh, man. I had the, the the privilege of helping the uh, lady whose mom has severe blood clots and wanted to use vitamins and not give her the blood clot medicine. And so I uh, saw her come in the store and I tried to hide. I tried to hide, y'all. Because <laughs> that's what that motherfucker do. I'm hiding, man. Leave me the hell alone. I don't want to be responsible for somebody's death, you know? An innocent person dying because their daughter may or may not want what's in the will or uh, is just absolutely c- 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 crazy. And just one of these full-on nutters about vitamins. I don't want any part of that. So uh, when she finally saw me, I was like, shit, shit, shit. She said, Lord Jesus, baby. I've been looking for you, Lord Jesus. Thank God. I've been praying. Lord Jesus, I found you. And I said, oh, yes, here I am. We was looking for you because, you know, last time we came, but you was on lunch or something. And uh, we needed your help. We went and saw that that, that doctor guy in the back of your store. And I was like, (laughs) he's not a doctor. Come on. She goes, he told us to take these, not take the vitamins that you suggested. So we want to know what's the best one, Lord Jesus. And I was like, um, well, just listen to what he told you. I'm not a doctor. So and they go, no, 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 no. But we trust you. We trust you. You're our people. And I was like, wait, whoa, 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 what? Yeah, you're our people. I'm like, wait, so because I'm black, you trust me? I don't trust any motherfucker. (laughs) Oh, my God. Wait, you can't be serious, madam. I just cannot believe this is happening. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. So you're saying... Because, you know, we're complete strangers, but we have the same color melanin that we're supposed to trust each other. Oh, hell no. (laughs) I was like, uh, wow. Um, I don't, I don't trust you. (laughs) If we're just clearing the air right now, that's great that you trust me. Um, I don't trust you. What you're doing? Your mom needs her prescription medications to keep her from getting a blood clot. And uh, you have refused to give her these medications because you believe in vitamins and the Lord Jesus. Okay. I don't like this. (laughs) She said, no, baby, Jesus, you just, you told us the best stuff to take. And, and the doctor guy said, no. So which one is it? And I was like, that's up to you. <laughs> but I am not a doctor to clarify this conversation. Uh, but we trust you. You're, you're, you're our people. We trust you. 
And I was like, well, it's up to you. This is what I would recommend. Um, this is this is the product I would recommend. Uh, but if the AKA doctor man in the back of a fucking grocery store who looks at your blood on a slide that you can buy from Fisher fucking price, who shines a flashlight in your eye and goes, yup, your stomach is fucked up. That's your dad's jeans. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> then I guess you better trust me, fam. <laughs> Holy shit, bitch. I was like, oh my God. She's like, oh, Jesus, which one is the best one to buy? Now, which one's the cheapest? Lord Jesus. I was like, oh, oh, man, here we go. What's happening? Anyhow, I was just like, hey, I, uh, well, uh, you know, this is just what I have studied and what I know. This is not because uh, of the color of my skin. I'm just going by the science, okay? I I trust the science. <laughs> this is what I think she should buy, but I also think she should take her medication as well, too. Oh, no, we can't do that. The medication be making her sick, baby. The medication be making her sick. Lord Jesus. I was like, oh, God. I said, are you sure the medication's making her sick and it's not you? Because you're her caretaker. So what the fuck is happening? How is your mom getting worse under your care? That tells me you need a a medical professional to take care of this situation. (laughs) Lord Jesus, we we trust you. You're our people. Tell us what vitamins to take. (laughs) I felt like fucking Judah Ben Hur. (laughs) Let my people go. <laughs> I was like, okay, plan. Well, it's this. Gotta go. Because I don't want you to, like, read my name tag correctly and realize you're going to come back and sue me when your mom dies. Um, I don't want to be there. <laughs> Lord Jesus, she killed my mom. She told me to take these vitamins. No, I didn't. Uh, you were listening to that fake doctor in the back of the grocery store (laughs) with the fucking Fisher price set (laughs) sue that guy he don't pay his taxes (laughs) oh man Uh, let's see oh this was a, a crazy one so uh Right after the Lord Baby Jesus lady left, I uh, had to help this bald guy who came running up on me. And he's like, hey, hey, uh, I need a, I need a comb. And I was like, a what? He's like, yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. I'm bald and I'm looking for a cop. And I was like, you're looking for a cop? What? He's like, no, I'm looking for a cop. And I was like, a cup? Uh, cups are on aisle seven. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm looking for a cone. And I was like, a cone? An air cone? Like, you trying to light this bitch on fire and get the earwax out? What are we doing? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 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 I'm looking for a comb. You know, it's kind of funny, right? Uh, I'm bald. I'm looking for a comb. And I was like, no, I didn't think it was funny at all. I didn't know what the fuck you were saying. <laughs> I was like, God damn. And then the, the the real thing that threw me off, it wasn't that he was asking for a fucking comb and he was bald. I was completely, my brain cells were fried when this man opened his mouth and his breath smelled like piss, like fucking dog piss willy. Piss. Smelled like piss. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how else to articulate. This man's breath smelled like piss. I felt like... I had just gone to the restroom and got slipped and fell and and landed in some pish, okay? Because this guy was like, hey, you got any cups? And I was like, what? Sir, why does your mouth smell like a toilet? 
excuse me, sir. <laughs> He's like, no, oh, I know it's funny, right? I, I'm bald and I need a comb. And I'm like, no, I'm not laughing at that, sir. I'm fucking gasping for air right now because your breath smells like piss. <laughs> And I was like, aisle, aisle four, aisle four, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I wasn't going over there. I didn't give a shit that my boss was looking right at me. I was like, uh-uh, I ain't walking over there with that guy. His breath smells like piss. <laughs> Something is wrong with your bladder, sir. It is, you are pissing out of your mouth. <laughs> you were made backwards. You are peeing out of your mouth. <laughs> and talking out of your buttocks. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm 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 out, Jack. There's no fucking way I'm going anywhere near you, with you, over you, uh, through you, uh, uh, no you, okay? You, your breath smells like pish. I have to go. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, man. And then right after that, oh, God, I just, this is just the dumbest. You know, they say there's no dumb questions, but there sure as hell are dumb people. Okay. And this lady wanted to know the, the difference between which one was the healthiest milk, almond milk or oat milk. And I was like, oh, you red motherfucker. I don't drink milk. Why are you asking me? First of all, my boss came up and asked me, which means that he didn't want to help this lady. I get it. Brother man, you didn't want to help this lady. Okay, cool. Why are you asking me? I drink, I don't drink milk. I drink water and I drink lemonade and I drink uh, half tea, half lemonade. Okay? I drink liquid death. I don't drink milk. I don't do cow titty milk. I don't do almond titty milk. I don't do oat milk titty milk. Okay? I don't do it. Why are you asking me, dog? Why are you asking me? And I was like, oh, okay, uh, let me check Google. And she goes, oh, well, if you're going to, uh, I need, I just need the healthiest one. I had cancer. And I was like, oh, I know who you are. I know who you are, bitch. You're the crazy cancer lady who, in my humblest opinion, one or two things has happened. Uh, either she got the Munchausen's and somebody next she knows has cancer because she's just like, She is an emotional wreck every fucking time she comes in the store. Or B, that she indeed has cancer, but from what she told me, she didn't smoke, she didn't drink, she didn't do drugs. So I'm like, oh, bitch, you got cancer because you're a worry wart. That's why you got cancer. You stressed yourself out into getting cancer. Can you believe that shit? Can you fucking believe it? Yeah, this bitch is living proof. Okay. Every time she comes to the store, she's like, I want to get a a fruit, a a fruit smoothie with no fruit in it. (laughs) 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 Bitch. Okay. If you truly indeed have cancer, right? Okay. You're doing everything in your fucking power to, to not have sugar to eat clean, to exercise, to take better care of yourself. I don't think one smoothie going to kill you, bitch. I think you can have your little smoothie with fruit in it. I think you'll be all right. It'd be one thing if they made your little fruit smoothie and then got like a fucking, you know, pooper scooper full of sugar and dumped it in your smoothie. Okay? That's what we're saying is fucking bad. But some fruit? I don't think the fruit going to kill you, ma'am. I think you can relax. I'm here to get a a smoothie without fruit. So same thing today. I need to know which almond milk is better. Almond milk versus oat milk. I was like, girl, just don't have added sugar. They're the same thing. Which one is more nutrient dense? Because I have cancer. I don't smoke or drink or do any drugs and I still got cancer. Can you believe it? And I was like, yes, I can, bitch. Yes, I can. Because you're fucking overly dramatic. And all of your little 
fucking emotional baggage. I wanted to read this lady for filth. I was like, girl, I'm going to need you to have a seat right now on a little milk carton. I'm going to tell you a little story real quick. Uh, your body language and your voice, how crackly it is and how fucking nervous she is every fucking time she comes in the store. I'm just like, girl, I'm pretty sure you got cancer because you stressed yourself out. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm not a doctor, but I just got this feeling because she come up in there wearing the mask, but it's under her nose. So I'm like, you're just not prepared. Like, girl, if you're going to rock the mask, you got to do it right. Right. Because you have cancer, air quotes, or you had cancer. So you want to do everything in your power to protect yourself. Well, uh, guess what? A- according to, you know, you know, when you go to the hospital and you see the doctor, he wore the mask over his nose. It doesn't go on your chin like a little fucking panty liner. It doesn't go over your lips and your nose is exposed. You cover your nose down to your chin. I'm sorry. I'm not a masked person, but this is what I've just remember seeing in the hospital. If you're going to wear it, wear it right, because that's how air quotes protects you. Okay, so. Okay, so how can you be worried about? cancer and what kind of milk you drinking but you ain't even wearing the mask right (laughs) that's why i don't believe you that's why i'm like oh girl you you made yourself sick because you you are like worried you stressing yourself out so much over nothing that it made you sick so i was like damn because uh brother andrew huberman the huberman podcast he talked about this i think on joe rogan or one of his podcasts um and then uh dr uh, Dr. Matei, D- Gaber Matei, I think his name is, he wrote a whole book about how people uh, with no pre-existing conditions, but who hold on to uh, childhood trauma or, or PTSD are more susceptible to getting cancer. Yo, my guy might be right because this lady is fucking making herself sick because she's so fucking stressed out. And I'm like, yo, you need to chill out. I was like, I don't drink milk, but if you're going to drink one, go with this almond milk. It's got a lot of sugar in it. Goodbye. She put the ooh, 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 the ooh, has sugar too. Ooh, ooh. I was like, well then, buy both of them and find out which one you like and return the one you don't because <laughs> I don't give a shit, <laughs> which is probably why I don't have cancer because I don't give a shit. Now, did I have a cancer scare? Yeah. And then also... Did it just so happen that I have been diagnosed with PTSD? Yeah. So maybe my childhood PTSD that I didn't really know was PTSD until my later years, maybe that had something to do with me getting sick. I don't know. But according to some real doctors, they're saying that emotional trauma isn't healthy to hold inside. Emotional trauma isn't healthy to hold inside. And then it might actually make you sick. So I was just like, mm, this lady, she needs somebody to pray for her, meditate for her, do some yoga for her, uh, 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 build something for her. Somebody needs to help this lady out. <laughs> and then I met her husband. I went, oh, shit. Now I know why you're sick. <laughs> this fucking Jerry Garcia looking motherfucker. Hey man, where's your empty capsules? I'm gonna make my own cancer medicine. I'm like, oh fuck, man. I'm sorry, ma'am, you're gonna die. <laughs> fucking Jerry Garcia guy. Come here, Uncle Tom <laughs> This bitch is dating the Grateful Dead. <laughs> <laughs> soon to be her if she don't release her stress soon. <laughs> Driving that train high on cold grain. Crazy don't bed don't watch your speed. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, let's see what else is going on here. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, I just want to issue a a word of caution to all of the homies that listen to the show. Maybe you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who has tried this ATM glitch where you write a uh, 
a blank check for whatever amount of money, and then you deposit the check. And before the funds clear, you take out whatever money you want to take out, right? There's some weird uh, ATM glitch that has been around, okay? So I just want to let y'all know that 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 money is not really yours, okay? So you're stealing from the bank. Even though you're stealing digitally, you're still stealing. And you're convincing the ATM to give you this amount of cash on based on a check from an account that you don't have. And then um, what is also known to authority is as fraud. And if you try this thinking you're going to get views on TikTok, you're actually going to get arrested. Uh, because uh, especially at Chase Bank, they are uh, basically fining people. Uh, they're going to be pressing fucking charges. They want to throw your ass in the jail. Okay, because you are not allowed to write a, a, a blank check for an amount of money you don't have. Okay, that's fraud. So uh, I guess this week is a huge thing where a bunch of kids on TikTok were writing a bunch of blank checks and depositing them and then taking the money and being like, yo, I got all this money. Look at me. I'm teriyaki 69. Yo, I'm little Zan. Like, look at me. I got 16 G's in my hand. And then they go to their account and it says negative 16 G's. <laughs> Good job, Chase. I mean, I'm not in favor of banks, but this is the one thing where I'm like, yo, you played yourself. Get them. Fucking arrest all of their asses. Throw their asses in jail because they don't fucking learn. I mean, never. Never. I took a... In school, we were taught to write checks. My parents they told me how to write checks. I have learned. I have learned. What to do with a check. What I was not taught to do because it was apparently obvious to me that I was not just going to write a check for whatever money I want and take the money that I do not have out of an account. Okay, because, again, that's fraud. So I'm just blown away that these dumbass kids are like, yo, we rich as fuck. We took out 100 G's, baby. We took out 50 G's. (laughs) Nah, fam. That's check fraud. Please don't do it. You're going to go to jail. Uh, Damn. Let's see what else I got for you. All right. I must go. I've got to go to bed. This is terrible. I have to wake up and take my car to the shop. To the shop. Down here at the pawn shop. Uh, I got to take the car in to get serviced. So I must cut this podcast short. But before I go, let me go. God damn it. All right, I must end this podcast. But before I go, let me give you some motherfucking UFC picks. Early prelims. All right. UFC 306, we've got Raul Rosas Jr., 9 and 1, versus Quang Lang Aror, 25 and 11. I'm taking Raul Rosas Jr. And uh, you won't forget to uh, take Raul Rosas Jr., because he's the guy who looks like the elephant man from Moonstruck. <laughs> but the kid can fight, yo. So be careful when you're calling him the elephant man. He might knock your ass out. Uh, next. Prelims. I've got uh, Yasmin Yagri, 11-1, versus Kathleen Souza. 14 and 4. If this is the same Ketlin Souza that just fought last weekend, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, I might have to pick you again because that was a performance. Oh, I think that was Silva. Goddamn Brazil, Brazilian Souza, Silva. Okay, so in that case, I think I'm going to have to take uh, Yasmin Yagri for the win. Next, Manuel Torres, 15 and 2, versus Ignacio Bajamondes, 15 and 5. I'm going to take Ignacio Bajamondes for the win. Irene Eldana, 15 and 7, versus Norma Dumont. Hot chick fight. I'm taking Norma Dumont. Main card. Main card. Wait, was that all the fillers? Okay, yeah. 
All right, for the main card, we've got Ronaldo Rodriguez, 16 and 2, versus Oday Osborne. Man, me Jamaican brethren. Uh, I think I got to go Ronaldo Rodriguez on that. Uh, Daniel Zellahuber, 15 and 1, versus Esteban Rivarix. Hmm, I'm thinking Daniel Zellhuber. Okay, T City, Brian Ortega, 16 and 3, versus Diego Lopez. I'm taking Diego Lopez. Alexa Grasso, 16 and 3, versus Valentina Shevchenko. I'm taking Alexa Grasso. Sean Sugar O'Malley, 18 and 1, versus Mirab Dalishwili. I'm taking Mirab Dalishwili. Mirab is 17 and 4. Sean O'Malley is 18 and 1, but Sean O'Malley has never faced a wrestler like my Georgia boy. That's right. Russia's cousin, Georgia, so he knows how to wrestle. Because uh, what do we know about uh, what do we know about the uh, mother Russia? The cousins are pissed off, and Georgia, man oh man, they got something to prove. Anybody from Georgia knows how to wrestle like a motherfucker. So I'm gonna pick Mirab Devilish Willy. Those are my motherfucking UFC picks. Bet with me, bet against me. Who cares? Let's watch a motherfucking fight. Yeah. All right, folks. www rambleparadio.com tell a friend but only if they're cool of course uh, in the next 6 to 8 weeks I will have a who's gen rash guard available for sale it won't be on my website you gotta get it on my social okay I will only have select sizes and I will only have one of each size so if you missed the uh, prepaid window uh, you will get a chance in six to eight weeks to get the leftover stash that I get. And uh, you may purchase them then. Um, but I will just warn you, I only got one of each size. So if you want one of them rash guards, you just better watch my socials. You better be following me on the IG. Because in the next six to eight weeks, I'm going to put them up there. And when they are gone, they are gone. They're never making them again. So... If you are looking for some active wear for jujitsu or the gym, or you want to wear it to the beach, then please politely purchase your Who's Gen Rash Guard from me. So if you're interested, you know, obviously in the next uh, six to eight weeks, you can DM me or just watch socials. I'm going to post it on there. All right, folks, I will talk to y'all next week. But until then, this is Ramble Radio. I'm out. Peace.